Hey there, YouTube. It's Math Bowler with some purchases, trading card purchases. So no autographed baseballs or anything like that. But these are from two different places. The first one I have never talked about before. It's called the Baseball Card Shop. It's in Hermitage, Pennsylvania. And this place has really improved a lot. Now, when you walk in, prepare, be prepared for the smell of cigarette smoke. But um, it's really well organized compared to what it used to be. And when I, when my buddy, who had been going there for decades, uh, when he wanted to go up there, I thought that'd go along with the ride. Thought maybe, just maybe, I'd buy a wax box, but I doubt it. He actually, the seller actually had a lot of singles for sale, and they're all half off whatever price tag was on, which is uh, I'm assuming book value. So I picked through the baseball cards that he had, which were separated by team. And when we walked in, he had his own little promotion saying it was something like it was free trading card day or whatever. So uh, long story short, I got a free card. But, yeah, I'm just going to go through these cards with you. I also bought a 3,200 count box that he assembled right there. And um, it was, with after tax, $80.05. So I bought a ton of singles here. I don't know how many. I'm going to guess 50. But I bought some cards that were just generic pirates that would literally be sold just for um, maybe get signed in person or TTM like, you know, Doug Drabeck. I'll get signed in person. Steve Cook. But there are good cards toward the end. So just bear with me through the pirate cards here. So most of these guys I can get signed, like I said, in person or through the mail. So maybe in a year from now, every one of these cards I've shown so far will be signed because they're all gold. Uh, the first couple weren't, but these are gold cards. And they're half priced, half off of whatever the sticker was. All right, now Matt Caps, I had some recent success, so I thought that'd pick up that one. This is one of those Rediscover Tops. They took an old card, you know, and maybe you can see that. Yeah, I grabbed a Mitch Keller. I like this Marte car. That looks really nice. And then I picked up three of these. My buddy gave me a couple as well. So, you know, I have blank autograph cards from the autograph card, which I have, you know, promoted a little bit in the past. But those will do as well for players of the uh, PNC Park era. All right, this was numbered 1 to 190, 2018 top series one so i didn't mind paying up for that i like the old school uni there yep, yep I didn't have any line chisholm hauls so i bought six of them you know if he makes the team and everything we'll see brewers are pretty friendly so i picked up some brewers cards from his team box so i picked up a couple of chase anderson's I doubt I'll get his autograph. You never know. Keon Broxton is super nice, super good guy, very friendly. So I got three cards of him. Hey, never know about Lorenzo Kane or Josh Hader. I don't even remember if Jimmy Nelson's still on the team, but okay. Yeah, and I, I mean, I doubt I get his autograph, but the cards were real cheap. All right, now on to some rookies. The pretty much 2018 rookies that I'm glad to have here. So we got some Aussie Albies. We got one, two, three. Four of him. Juan Soto, which his price were a little bit on the higher side, naturally. One, two, three, four, five Juan Sotos. Your Acuna cards here. We got one, two, three, four, and five. Got a Vlad Guerrero Jr. rookie card. And to finish off, the Shohei Atani rookies. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and seven. So if you have any interest in ever heading up to Hermitage there, like I said, that store has cleaned up a ton compared to what it used to be. Uh, those who have ever been there would know exactly what I'm talking about. So uh, yeah, there's the address, assuming that's going to show up all right. There's his website. Got a whole bunch of stuff, pretty much your wax products. He's an authorized top stealer and BCW, the um, your your display case, your your uh, card protectors and all that. All right, and I've talked about this place in the past before, but I did stop at Michelangelo's flea market just to pick up some more stuff because he has it real really really cheap, and you know the place is a bit on the uh, 
the building itself isn't so hot. But, you know, I picked up 25 cent cards for a buck. I spent $25 total. It's ridiculous what I got here. I mean, I got some nice little rookies like J.D. Drew and Pat Burrell. And, well, let's see. Any other rookies here? Bobby Abreu, Nick Markakis, Andre Ethier, Hallie Kendrick. So just some uh, some cool little cards here for five cents a piece that, you know, it's kind of hard to pass those up. So... And then I picked up 20 10 cent cards, so I've been two bucks total. So, you know, Barry Bonds, these are your Pirate cards, Jose Castillo. These guys TTM really well, really well Josh Fogg, Pookie Reese, and Warren Morin. Warren Morris. Yeah, so, that, very good. And some Steelers, rookie cards. Well, those aren't rookies, but just nice little cards to have in the collection. Gets a little bit better as we go. We've got nine quarter cards here. So Kevin Newman, you know, eventually I hope to get those autographed. Jacob Stallings, Matt Caps, TTMs. There's a nice little Tacalvi. And some random cards here. Rookie cards. There's a couple Steelers. 750 cent cards. So Kevin Newman. A couple nice Jamison Tyon cards. Kyle Crook. Rookie, uh, Corey Dickerson, rookie, Danny Murtaugh, Verlaw. All right, his $1 game used. Picked up 13. This first one, never heard of the guy. Never, ever heard of this guy, but I really liked the autograph. Scott Rowland, Mark Pryor, Brian Giles' brother, Marcus. Ben Sheets, Paula Duca. No one amazing, but for a buck, they're pretty good players, or were or pretty good players, or, you know, Curtis Enos, you know, had a pretty good college career. Kyle Bowler. There's a dual numbered. Yep, Dale Howarchuk. There he is again, just uh, that guy's had the dual numbered card there. Ryan Suter. And. Autograph card, Dana Barrows. So at that point, it would have been $21.75. $21 and I'm honest with the guy because he's been really nice to me. I mean, actually, I left there feeling like I just got a ridiculously good deal. So then I handed him his cards that are pretty much a dollar and up. Most of them, they're not priced. He just kind of eyeballs it. Well, he eyeball, eyeballed it. I was expecting him to say 30 bucks, and he just hit me up for 25 So... I only paid three dollars and twenty-five cents for the rest of these cards, which is why I'll be going back there. He treats me right because he knows I'm a pirate fan. I'm not a dealer. Whew, that's shiny. So Jeff Locke rookie, I know that's funny, but that's a real nice Kevin Newman. There's a real nice Kevin Newman. The idea is to get these signed. Cole Tucker, that looks beautiful. There's a Bowman Chrome Corey Dickerson rookie, and there's a couple Francisco Liriano rookie cards. Neil Walker, Stoneman's Bowman Sterling rookie card. And then uh, that's actually a rookie card. Mark Melanson, numbered 238. So, yeah, I hit that too. But I really want to give a shout-out to Baseball Card Shop. And nothing wrong with giving a shout-out to uh, Michelangelo's Flea Market. The vendor at that flea market's only there on the first and third Sunday of the month. So, uh but yeah, I appreciate these nice little deals and pickups. I want to share them with you so you can check out what I was up to as well. So uh, yeah, if there's anything that you really liked, feel free to let me know. I'm not really here to buy, sell, or trade. But um, yeah, just let me know what you liked. And feel free to also like the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care, everybody.